Attention, penny collectors. Beware, if you happen upon a 1983 Lincoln cent, it's worth giving it a thorough examination. Even in circulated condition, a rare find could potentially fetch you thousands of dollars at auction. Here's why. In 1982, the Lincoln cent transitioned from a copper alloy to a copper-plated zinc composition. Much like the famous 1943 copper cent, some planchettes of the outdated composition were inadvertently struck by dyes intended for the following year's production. The prevailing explanation for this transitional alloy error involves a planchette becoming lodged in a crevice of a bin used to transport a large number of planchettes to the dyes. Eventually, dislodged and coined after newly dated dyes are installed. These coins stand as rare anomalies in the world of numismatics. In simpler terms, this scent was struck on a bronze planchette instead of the intended copper-plated zinc. While copper-plated zinc scents typically weigh 2.5 grams, this highly coveted error coin weighs 3.1 grams, making it a true treasure for collectors. An example of this rarity, graded MS61 red and brown, commanded an impressive $4,800 at heritage auctions. So keep your eyes peeled for this elusive gem. You never know when you might stumble upon a valuable addition to your collection. And don't forget to like, share, and comment below to keep the numismatic conversation going. Do you notice something peculiar about this Jefferson Nichols eye appeal? Its toning presents a striking coppery red hue, and the legends are not fully struck. That's because this nickel is an incredibly rare error coin struck on a transitional bronze scent planchette. Nickels struck on scent planchets are already scarce, as many are caught by riddlers before leaving the mint. However, what sets this piece apart is its unique circumstances. Bronze planchets were phased out in 1982 with only copper-plated zinc planchets in use by 1983. This makes this coin a noteworthy transitional error, even if it had been struck by 1983 descent dyes. Despite its oddities, this nickel remains a lustrous and unabraded fire red near gem, a true marvel for collectors. It's no wonder it ended up selling for an impressive $4,312.50. Keep your eyes peeled for such extraordinary finds. They're the gems that make numismatics endlessly fascinating. Here's another 1983 cent that could potentially earn you extra hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. The highly coveted double die reverse variety. To uncover this valuable error, simply grab a magnifying glass and examine the reverse lettering closely. On this popular guidebook variety, the legends on the backside of the coin are boldly doubled, making it a sought-after treasure among collectors. With perfect copper-orange surfaces, displaying swirling luster and complete strike definition, this scent is a true standout. Even tiny gas bubbles trapped beneath the surface of the copper plating are present, adding to its authenticity. This remarkable specimen recently found its way into the hands of a lucky collector, fetching an impressive $5,280 at auction. Keep your eyes peeled for these hidden treasures. They might just be hiding in plain sight in your own collection. Behold this stunningly toned 1983 D. Kennedy half dollar, preserved in superb gem condition. Graded as Mint State 68 by PCGS, this designation signifies a very high grade, indicating that the coin has retained superb luster and strike quality with virtually no visible marks or imperfections. Such a grade is exceptionally rare, particularly for a coin minted in the 1980s. The well-struck design elements stand out against the backdrop of satiny luster, creating a visually captivating piece. The surfaces are exceptionally well-preserved, adding to the coin's overall allure and desirability. This remarkable specimen found its way into the hands of a discerning collector, fetching an impressive $4,230 at auction. It's a testament to the enduring appeal and value of numismatic treasures like this one. Presenting a numismatic rarity, the 1972 Lincoln Cent overstruck on a struck 1971 Lincoln Cent. This highly elusive error piece has been graded mint state 62 brown by PCGS, adding to its mystique and value. Such an error occurs when a previously struck coin, in this case, a 1971 Lincoln cent, is mistakenly fed back into a coin press and struck again with a new die intended for a different year, in this case, 1972. As a result, the 1972 die imprints its details over the older coin's designs, 
creating a fascinating hybrid of the two. In this specific scenario, the coin displays characteristics of both the 1971 and 1972 strikes, with some features of the first strike, the 1971 details, faintly visible beneath the details of the second strike, the 1972 details. This can include parts of the date, inscriptions, or other design elements, depending on how the coins were aligned during the overstrike. This intriguing error scent found its way into the hands of a lucky collector, fetching an impressive $1,560 at auction. It serves as a testament to the unexpected wonders that can be found within the world of coin collecting. Presenting an extraordinary find, the 1968S Washington Quarter struck on a 90% silver planchette. This coin represents a very intriguing and rare type of minting error known as a wrong planchette error. This error occurred when a planchette intended for a different coin or from an earlier time period was mistakenly used to strike a quarter. In 1965, the U.S. Mint changed the composition of circulating quarters from 90% silver and 10% copper, commonly used until 1964, to a copper-nickel-clad composition, primarily to reduce costs. The presence of a 1968S quarter struck on a 90% silver planchette suggests that a silver planchette from before 1965 was somehow left over or mixed into the batches of newer clad planchettes being used at the San Francisco Mint, indicated by the S mint mark. This highly sought-after error quarter found its way into the hands of a fortunate collector, fetching an impressive $11,700 at auction. It serves as a reminder of the unexpected treasures that can emerge from the world of coin collecting. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed learning about these fascinating coin errors. Share it with your fellow collectors and enthusiasts, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and experiences. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching, and happy collecting.